Welcome back to Robinson's Auto, toolsandtime.com. Back today with part two, this Nissan MV3500 that had the rear tail housing transmission leak. We noticed a few things wrong in part one with the carrier baron, center support bushing. So we removed the drive shaft. We inspected the seal, seeing that the seal was torn. Removed the seal, then we inspected the bushing. Everything looked good there. So we moved forward with inspecting the rest of the drive shaft, determining what we needed to move forward, ordered some parts, and here we are today. All right, guys, we're getting ready to replace this center support baron, carrier baron. What I'm gonna do, just like I did on the other ones, I'm just gonna make a little scribe mark up here on the top. And I think if I clock it either way, it's gonna be pretty far off. We gotta remove one of the two clips, so we're gonna remove the one Fan, fan clamp closest to the carrier. All right, let's take this over to the bench. I'm going to have to do a voiceover here. This has been happening on the last few videos where my wireless mic is, I don't know if it's draining my battery or, or something's going on here, but nonetheless, what you see me doing here is using a barren separator or barren puller um, you take and you split it in two halves and it has like a taper so I'm putting a taper side down towards the the rigid shaft so once you start clamping this together something's got to move because you're you're displacing your you're pinching something in between the two pieces so the hopes are that something will start moving and that's going to be the barren uh, once you get this to start moving, you could put it in a press, or there's also some adapters that you could screw into this baron separator. But I'll be taking it over to the press here shortly, and and I do apologize because my battery dies, and uh, that's something I'm going to have to start looking into to see why this keeps happening. Now that I got you over at the press, I'm going to take and remove that cup first. This is the piece that your boot attaches to, and it's separate than the baron. It'll come with it to the new one because once you take and you pop this off, it'll no longer be a press fit. So we'll discard this. And then it does press apart relatively easy. Sorry about that. We ran out of storage. Battery was running low. And it is hot. I just wanted to show you what I got here. Um, if you look at our marks that we made earlier, we were lined back up. In addition, an extra confirmation see how that yoke is sitting flush there. This one's sitting flush there, so I happen to notice that after the fact when I put it back together. But we used the uh, Baron separator, like you've seen us use. We pressed it apart, and we pressed the new one on. Then there's a collar that presses on, and then you gotta re-clamp this with a crimp style clamp. Now we're ready to start reassembling everything I got the seal we're gonna knock that in next it might be a little hard hearing me get right put the seal in I think we're we're in. All right, looks good to me. Make sure it's clean. Can you give me some uh, a little bit of transmission fluid or something and the brake cleaner? Another weird thing that there's there's a plug in the back of these yokes. You gotta make sure they never blow out because that'll uh, allow fluid to leak um, 
That's the yoke. That way too. It's an old thing that a lot of people forget about. All right, slide around. Oh, hang on. All right, the shaft, seal, everything went together smooth. I'm gonna put in the carrier. Here, I'm just gonna center the shaft, this bolt, as soon as I can get it. All right, we got it running, got it topped off with fluid. It's been running now for, I don't know, 20 minutes trying to get all the fluid to burn off the bottom because I don't want any fires when I go to road test it. Pull the wheel chucks out. So far, um, it feels like it's going in and out of gear okay. We're gonna crawl underneath it in a second. I backed it off the lift, went around the parking lot, pulled it back on, checked the fluid. Everything feels good. Then I went around the block once and now I just pull the pack up on the lift. So let's go underneath and take a peek. There it goes. Take a, take a ride down here with me. Everything looks nice and dry where we were working. I mean, everything is saturated. I hate when there's fluid everywhere. Um, I wiped everything down as good as I get it. It's undercoated pretty good. But, um, Here's that uh, she's all heated off now at least. I might wipe that frame down a little bit. And I'll hit that with a wire brush. Same with this cat. And, uh, maybe a little bit right here. Other than that, I think everything else is good. Carrier Baron looks good. Not seeing any leaks yet. Let's go take this thing for a nice ride. I'm gonna clean this up a little bit more. Now we'll take it for a ride. What a mess, guys. It's been a hot one, I tell you. But we're making progress. I just want to give you guys a shot here. Of the parts that we used. This was the National Seal. Um, this is the part number 224464. Everything measured up perfect. And this is the national um, carrier center support that we used, HB108. Let's go take this thing for a ride. I took her outside. I had a customer stop by right before I was taking it for a test ride so some of this transmission fluid could work its way out of the exhaust, off the exhaust. Let's take a peek. I know it's a little dark down there. So far, so good. Don't mind the air, guys. Check engine light was on prior, so that's not us. Hopefully you got lucky. This thing has a lot of miles on it. 294,000. That's a heck of an event to go through. Losing fluid, losing pressure with that many miles on it. But she has all fresh fluid in there, flushed. I did a low pressure flush, pulled off the cooler line and ran a, almost a whole gallon of fluid through it. 
I'm not sure if, who knows? I wasn't sure what kind of fluid was put in it, so I want to be safe. Good shift, good shift. Good shift. Ah, so far so good. Should be one more left. Might not be up to speed yet. Gotta watch my speed here, but we'll take her for a nice ride. Not sure what video you guys are gonna see first. I know I broke the news when I was um, resealing that other transmission that's getting ready to go in maybe Monday at this point because I gotta get a converter. Um, but anyways, this is gonna be it. This is my full-time gig now. I let go of the industrial engineering position to pursue this full-time, um, my own passion. And uh, we'll see where it takes us. I'm excited, it was just getting too too much. But there comes a time in everyone's life where that, that switch gets flipped and um, after 20 years, it was flipped for me, and I had to make a choice, um, one or the other. And between you guys, all the work I put into the shop, that choice wasn't very hard to make, if I'm honest with you. Um, it's been very sustainable. I pray that it keeps on being sustainable. And um, I look forward to sharing many more videos with you guys. I'm taking you along for the journey. One of the things that was setting me back for a little bit was I had to be open 40 hours a week to, in order to be an official state inspection station, emission, safety, motorcycles, pretty much everything I, I have a license for, I went for. And uh, even though I carried the license, the shop had to be open 40 hours a week. Um, that was another breaking point. Once I seen the writing on the wall, I essentially made the shop a full-time priority. It's now transitioned to a PA state inspection station. Um, you've seen the alignment machine go in. You've seen, you've seen many investments go in this past year. And it was all a work in progress, you know? It's been a work in progress for many years. You ever hear that story, or that song, um, I think guy built the car one piece at a time? That's essentially what you guys see me do at this shop. And, um, and you guys were there with me, so this ain't just some, some tale, some tall tale. This is, this is the real deal. And now you're seeing it take the transition. All right, guys, she's, she's doing good so far. Let her shift through the gears. Nice. Get her back to the shop. We'll crawl underneath it one last time. Then we'll call the customer and let them put some miles on it. Well, hopefully she's good to go now. That center of support was definitely shot. That seal was definitely failed. Um, the bushing didn't look bad. Like you guys said, probably, I think a few of you guys said, just replace the seal on the carrier and you'll probably be just fine. Uh, so that's exactly what I did. Otherwise, I would have had to pull that tail housing off. And to be honest with you, I couldn't find a, a bush in local. I've seen a couple um, forums where people split bushings to make one. But I, you know, this one didn't look bad. I didn't want to make it any worse than what it was, you know. So we put it back together. It feels good. Um, so far, she's still shifting good. We'll crawl underneath it here shortly. Check for leaks. Yeah, it looks nice and dry. All right, that's going to wrap this one up. I appreciate you guys taking the time and hanging out with me once again. Um, wish me luck on my journey moving forward. And, of course, I'll keep you guys in the loop. But we'll see how it goes. It's uh, I've been quite busy. I'm hoping to get some help here shortly as well. Um, you know, that's always fun, especially when <laughs> when you're um, you have OCD like I do. So. But... That's something I got to get used to, and I'm sure it'll, it'll come with time. But I got to learn to trust and put faith in other people. 
I think we're good here. We're going to turn this one over to the customer. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe. Until next time, guys. Stay tuned. Well, we got some unfortunate news, guys. After she got hot and drove for a little bit, transmission started slipping. In addition, she later lost reverse. So it could be a band. could be many things within that transmission that got overheated, damaged. Um, she was in pretty rough shape. Like I said, it took about six quarts just to get it to move when it was dropped off. So something most likely I cooked. We did our best. We tried to save it. We fixed the obvious. Unfortunately, this one might be too far gone. She'll have to come out next, most likely. But you can't win them all. Once again, guys, thanks for watching.